and the princes of the Pelishtanim were wroth with him, and the princes of the Pelishtanim said unto him, Make this fellow return, that he may go out again to his place, which thou hast appointed him, and let him not go out with us to battle, lest in the battle he be an adversary to us. For wherewith should he reconcile himself unto his master? Should it not be with the heads of these men? Is not this the wood of whom they sang one to another and dances sang? Shaul slew his thousands, and wooed his ten thousands. And Achish called the wood, and said unto him, Surely, as God is known and verb liveth, thou hast been upright, and thy going out and thy coming in with me in the host is good in my sight, for I have not found evil in thee since the days of thy coming unto me unto this day. Nevertheless, the Lord's favor be not. Wherefore, now return and go in peace, that thou displease not the lords of the Plushtanim. And Dawood said unto Achish, But when I have but what have I done? And what hast thou found in thy servant so long as I have been with thee unto this day, that I may not go to fight against the enemies of my lord the king. And Achish answered and said to Dawood, I know that thou hast, that thou art good in my sight as an angel of God. Notwithstanding, the princes of the Pelishtanim have said, He shall not go up with us to the battle. Wherefore, now rise up early in the morning with thy master's servants that are come with thee and as soon as ye be up early in the morning, and have light, depart. So Dawood and his men rose up early to depart in the morning to return unto the land of the Pelishtanim. And the Pelishtanim went up to Yazral. I don't know, it could be Yazril, but Yazral makes sense. I think that's right. Um... Arya's re all. Now the Plishtanim fought against Yashral, and the men of Yashral fled from before the Plishtanim and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa, and the Plishtanim followed hard upon Shal and his sons, and the Plishtanim slew Inathan and Abinadab. And Malki Shua, Shaul's sons, and the battle went sore against Shaul, and the archers hit him, and he was sore wounded of the archers. Then said Shaul unto his armor bearer, Draw thy sword and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come to thrust me through and abuse me. And but his armor bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. Therefore Shaul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Shaul was dead, he fell likewise upon his sword and died with him. So Shaul died, and his three sons, and his armor-bearer, and all his men, that same day together. And when the men of Yisrael that were on the other side of the valley, and they that were on the other side Jordan saw that the men of Yisrael fled, and that Shaul and his sons were dead. They forsook the cities and fled. Then the Pelishtanim came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Pelishtanim came to strip the slain, they found Shaul and his three sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor and sent into the land the Pelishtanim round about to publish it in the house of their idols and among the people, and they put his armor in the house of Ashtaroth, and they fastened his body to the wall of Bethshan. And when the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead, uh, I mean, Yabash Gilead, Gilad maybe, or Gilead, um, heard that which the Pelishtanim had done to Shal, and all the valiant men arose and went all night and took the body of Shal and the bodies of the sons from the wall of 
Beit-Shan and came to Yabesh and burnt them there. And they took their bones and buried them under a tree at Yabesh and fasted seven days. And by fasting seven days, I'm sure they meant that they ate at night because um, we're going to find in another book, I'm not sure what portion of this book, um, that people fasted a whole month and read the scriptures at night. So I figured that it would have been eating and drinking. And it turns out uh, Jewish tradition backs up that this um, fasting in the ninth month was actually, you know, it wasn't that they did went days and days without food and drink. Um, but, you know, you don't know this guy committing suicide. You don't know what's going to happen in your life. Don't do that.